Welcome to the second lesson on assurance of salvation, where we'll explore a profound aspect of our faith, which is you must know that Jesus is your Lord. Now, this topic draws its foundation from Romans chapter 10, verse 9, Romans chapter 10, verse 13, and carries a significant weight in our journey of spiritual growth. And so before we get into it, and the heart of this topic, let's take a moment to consider the phrase, Lord. Oftentimes, we casually refer to Jesus as Lord without fully grasping the depth of its meaning. And we're going to unearth the profound significance of that term today. So as we examine the concept of Jesus as Lord, we find it encompasses several critical dimensions in our lives. Um, First, king and authority. Jesus, as Lord, holds the position of a king, the ultimate authority. He doesn't merely possess power. He is the potentate who establishes the rules that govern our lives. Unlike human dictators who might demand obedience, Jesus' demands are founded on what is right and what is just. And then secondly, the righteousness of his demands. Some people believe that Jesus' demands are, you know, twice as stringent as any human dictators. But the crucial distinction is that Jesus' demands are always right. His expectations are rooted in righteousness, reflecting his perfect nature. Then he's the master of our life. Acknowledging Jesus as Lord means recognizing him as the master of your life. And this isn't negotiable. There's no middle ground. You're either in a state of obedience or disobedience to his lordship. His mastery extends across all aspects of your life, including your choices, your actions, and your attitudes. We also find concerning a contrast concerning lordship. Interestingly, before we were saved, we were under a different master, the devil. The devil could influence us at will, pulling us away from God's path, and recognizing Jesus as Lord signifies a transition from dominion of darkness to the authority of light. And then Jesus is Lord. In no uncertain terms, we affirm that Jesus is Lord. And this declaration, it's not a mere formality. It's a pivotal truth that shapes our understanding of our relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And as we navigate this topic, let's take a moment to reflect on the implications What does it mean for Jesus to be the king and the authority in our lives? How does this righteousness set the standard for our obedience? What adjustments do we need to make to align our lives with his lordship? And ultimately, understanding Jesus as Lord is a transformative journey. It's about yielding to his sovereignty, trusting his wisdom, and aligning our lives with his purposes. So let's engage in this exploration with open hearts, ready to embrace the profound truth that Jesus is not just a casual friend, but he is in fact the Lord of our lives. Thank you for joining me today. Next time we'll consider assurance of salvation and the subject of surrender.